Hey up everyone, it's Friday again. It means it's time for a community update stream with me, Pain God and Tank Zars. How's everyone doing? Hey yo. How's it going, Army Guy? Lady Obscura, Modern Carla, Max Chaos. Nice to see you guys. <laughs> cool. So we got some um got some really cool things to talk about today. Um, we've got a, it's Friday, we generally do a first look at some upcoming um, tanks today, so we're going to be doing that. And we've also got a giveaway for that tank, um, which I will um, get going once we've had a look at it. And um, we've got some updates from this week and um, going forward. So where would you like to start, Pain Good? Hey, Mentos, how are you doing? I'm doing good. It's been a crazy week. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I don't think I've talked to you all week, other, no. than, other than in Jira tickets. Yeah, it's been a busy week. <laughs> uh, things are good, though. Um, this past Tuesday, uh, they did small quality of light fixes, fixing the camo on the chaffy turret, other, you know, cosmetic things. Um, we released the Miles Heavy Line uh, tank, tank rebalance. Um, that was received very well. Those tanks um had a, on average four times or more the number of battles than they they regularly do so a lot of people are checking them out um the mouse uh uh, uh, uh distance uh tra average distance travel increased by 10 percent because of its new mobility uh, yeah. and average uh, average damage dealt went from 1500 to 1950. um so he's, he's a little more a little more perky but i, th I think one of the biggest increases was, uh, was on the motion um it also had more than four times the usual battle but its average battle distance increased by 26 percent um so it, it sits it sits now in the middle properly um uh so yeah that looks, looks like that all went well um we did have a, a change this week that i didn't tell every tell you guys about last week and i apologize by your understanding of the math was not the greatest, so I just didn't think it was anything. Um, math is not I didn't know how to even explain it, I suppose, but um, it was basically fixing a math error. So, you know, months ago we talked about changing how the, the rolling average worked up for uh, marks of excellence and um, you know, got very resounding back like, no, don't, don't change that because it makes it easier. And got quite a bit of feedback that it's too easy, like right now, to get them on some maps, and you know the third mark is too easy to get. And so, you know, hearing that feedback, the engineer looked into, um, uh, you know, looked into it and found that we had this handicapping number that honestly got merged over from somewhere um, that was wrong. And he's like, should you know, should I fix it? I'm like, well, yes, because we shouldn't be lying to our players about what that percentage is, right? Um, so that was it wasn't trying to be sneaky or underhanded it was like oh there's a math bug yes fix it we shouldn't lie to players um so apologies for not giving you guys the heads up on it it wasn't trying to do anything sneaky um it only changed the damage for doing those um uh for for marks one through three about 100 points for mark one and 300 for for uh mark three um that's pretty much one extra shot right but now when you think, hey, I 95'd it, you are much closer to a 95 it than like 88, it, which what it was before. So it was just an effort to create, to uh, uh, fix uh, a math error. Um, so there you have it. Yeah. We make mistakes. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's just it, it. I feel from from my point of view, this it this just it just slipped through um, this one. Um, so we should have explained um, it to you guys. Um, it's been fixed now, um, and you guys are more than welcome to keep um, sharing your feedback um, to me, um, and I'll I will pass that on. But we we see it, we know we set, we upset you, and I'm sorry. But. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to talk about that at least anyway. Um, so um, we've got a quite a lot of other things to go through. Um, and I believe we've got some stuff on the Arctic Hiss next. Yeah, so we released the Arctic Hiss, uh, Destro and Scarlet uh, this week. How about the Arctic Hiss? 
tons of people are playing it. Uh, I've seen, it's, yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. I see it, you know, in every battle <clears throat> when playing. Um, some fun facts uh, uh, about you, the players, uh, on recent earn challenges, the Mercenary Earn Challenge for Playbringer. It ends next Tuesday. Tuesday. Currently, over 7,000 of you have, have played and completed it and earned it. Uh, congratulations, you know, for that. That's I'm surprised is a big number. And then the the happy anniversary earn challenge for the Scourge Karovitz one. I'm so bad at names. Uh, <laughs> that also ends next Tuesday. Currently, 9,731 players have earned that that tank. So again, congrats on that. Uh, two, 266 very industrious players completed on the very first day it was available. So that must have been some nice. marathon of play. <laughs> yeah, I see a bunch of them um, knocking around. I've been able to play. Um, I played um, the last three days. Uh, I've seen a bunch of them around. Um, been able to play them a little bit as well. Um, still not not great at playing them personally, so I need I need a little bit more time to play them. Um, so we'll see about next week. <laughs> Uh, one final follow up on the help me help me with the name there, Leon. Oh, uh, would you like it in my best um Italian accent, or would you like me to do it in a Manchester accent? However you like, however, however the players want to hear it. <laughs> Rinoceronte. That was more Yorkshire, though. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're, you know we keep uh, uh, watching and you know, keep tabs on the you know the balance changes we're doing for tanks as well as the the new Italian line. Um, the uh, that that tank is still performing very well. It's a number fourth on all all number fourth overall in win weight and number one in average damage of all tier ten heavies. <laughs> it's also number two for average damage out of all tier ten takes. Period. And in, in the hand of skilled players, so when we look at players, number of battle and their, their skill ranking. And of skilled players, uh, that tank, they're actually able to outperform the T-57 Heavy. So it's standing in its own. It's standing in its own really well with players that are, are really taking the time to uh, uh, learn, learn how to play it and perfect it. Are we still seeing um, um, players um, working their way up to the, the Renacerante? Um, because I know it's, it takes quite a lot of XP and you know time. Yeah, and the, the numbers are still increasing every week. I didn't pull those before this. Uh, uh, apologies, but I, I think uh, the the, the uh alone about doubled over the over the previous week of ownership. Okay, well, thank you. Just typing away in the chat there. I saw you, T-Bear. I was going to message you, but I didn't want to bother you. And um, I was being a loner playing on my own. But it's always nice. It's always nice to see you guys um, out there when, you know, when I'm playing. Um, feel free. If you guys ever see me, I'm playing on my own. I'm probably just being a little shy. You're more than welcome to always join me in a platoon. If, if I'm not already with someone or if I'm... I sometimes I'm working um, if you see me on 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 the Xbox, um, but you are more than welcome to join me. And if you don't see me playing a game, I'm probably just looking at something in the garage. But um, if you see me playing, you guys, please come and join me. Keep me company. <laughs> All right. And then we got something new. We got the new tank. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I was able to grab a, a concept of uh, the latest G.I. Joe tank we're releasing on Tuesday, the Armadillo. I love concept art. I absolutely love seeing it. it, it another back very, then, very, yeah. another very, very unique vehicle that we had to imagine. How will we translate it into actually being a, a, a vehicle in World of Tanks? I said that the Bradley was a pest last week. This is a pest. <laughs> The armadillo was a cockroach. A cockroach. <laughs> it deserved to be squashed. We're giving one away before it gets squashed. Um, for those of you who want a chance of winning a armadillo, uh, if you type hashtag armadillo uh, with your gamer tag and what console you play, um, you have a chance of winning that bef uh, before we finish the stream. Um, Professor. Um, how's it going, my friend? Um, asks, what is the armadillo? <laughs> it's 
Yeah. Oh, it's it's uh, the latest GI Joe Cold War uh, light tank. Uh, it's a, it's a harasser. It's very very fast, but it's also very very fragile. Um, pretty easy to disable it with a single shot, uh, and then murder it outright. Um, <laughs> it's quite small from what I saw. Is, it is. is that right in saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's very it's very small. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're going to take a closer look at it on Monday on Insider Information. Um, we're going to take it out for a spin. Um, you know how um, suspect of a light tank player I am, but I'm going to give it my best, um, show it off for you guys. And um, we will, um, while we talk about Insider Information, um, those of you that won the AUP um, A up um, inscriptions, we're, we're having some trouble crediting them at the moment, um, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but you are going to get them. We've got a list of you guys who won them, and um, as soon as we've got that resolved, we'll have them credited for you. But we're going to give some give some more away on Monday as well. So swing by two o'clock Central Time, which is seven UTC, I believe. Um, I think that's eight in UK time. Maybe wrong. I have no idea. Um, but you can um, um, check on the calendar on Twitch or um, stay following our Discord or the forums to stay in touch with the streams. Yeah. What else have we got here, Payne? Yes. Uh, so I, I, a little birdie, uh, uh, a little lady birdie just gave me the the ownership numbers. So for the Italian heavy line, the tier seven, up to 11,000 people that own it, tier eight, uh, about 3,000, tier 9, 1,300, and tier 10, 826. So it's, it's, it keeps going up like mm -hmm. like 1,000 or something every week or something, the, the tier 10, right? So people are getting into it now. I'm actually hearing less about it <laughs> the more people play it. So um, if you guys have any extra feedback on the Italian Heavy, send it in. Um, I'm not seeing too much these days. All right. Okay, yeah. and then because Baroque One asked for it, String Theory returns August 10th through uh, 16th. Excellent. Nice one, Baroque One. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> and, and because I... many, many people asked for it, um, the... I was like, well, that's far away. No, it's August already. No. It's crazy, isn't it? Founders. Um, and because many of you asked, uh, we're, we're having a tank trade-in event um, August 10th through the 16th. The trading list has like 230 tanks. The poor, the poor person that had to enter each one of those exact file names into an XML file to do this. I, I feel bad. For and the trade-up list has 50, over 50 tanks. So a, a big trade-in event. Doing the players' work, my friend. Um, whoever, whoever did that, good job. So yeah, string theory, roasted peanut. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, string theory is something I've seen around um, in the community. Not just Brogue one, but definitely you know one of those big uh, proponents of of getting that back. Um, have a few guys who enjoy it, and um, yeah, that is a big trading event. So 230 plus tanks. Wow. That is a lot. And then trade up uh, 50 plus tanks. Enjoy. So that's going to be next week. Um, so something for you to look forward to next week. And then uh, a handful of fixes. They're still coming in, but we fixed the spelling of August and tanker rewards. Thank you for everybody that pointed that out. I can't believe I missed <laughs> that. I'm using the spelling. Uh, yes. the, Checker for things. I didn't think the look and tanker rewards at all. Uh, more linear vehicle uh, progression uh, line fixes we talked about last week. Uh, fixing the camel display so it matches in the garage what's in the parents menu. Um, uh, getting rid of the, the, the barrel showing in the, the second sniper cam for the Progetto um, CC55. Uh, getting that percent S out of the, the, the vacant slot in the, in the reel. Uh, which made me cringe whenever every time I saw that. Um, <laughs> added some uh, missing collision to the bridge railing in Des Full. Um, there's still more things being verified right now. Um, as usual, we'll have the full list for you next Tuesday. 
Great stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll confirm that with you guys when we get it next week. Um, so keep an eye out on the update preview notes on the forums and on Discord. <clears throat> if you want to join our Discord, speaking of it, swing by, say hello. All right, I've seen a few questions um, in the chat about um, about balance changes. Um, I believe we've mentioned the IS4 before, but I, th I think we can confirm that today, can't we? The IS4. Yes, I, I can't remember who asked about that last week, but confirming for sure yeah. now. The, <laughs> the IS4 line balance changes are coming August 17th. Um, so that'll be the tier seven KV3, the tier eight KV4, the tier nine uh, ST1 uh, and the tier 10 IS4. Uh, and then in addition to that, the premium tanks, the KV4 by Chris Losky and the KV4K. Excellent stuff. And, and so... yes, the, the trade-in event is uh, World War II tanks only at this, at this point. That is a good point, thank you. Um, so we should be expecting the the next batch of balances on so not ne not the Tuesday coming up but the Tuesday after Tuesday the seventeenth and um, we will be um, able to take a look at them again on um, not insider information sadly uh, we don't actually have a stream on the sixteenth uh, but we'll maybe be able to take a preview at them on Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> Why no stream on the sixteenth? I'm off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. I, uh, did you just like go on a vacation or something like that? I did. I did. <laughs> These, those PTO days. <laughs> yeah, um, my wife was meant to be going to Vegas um, for work, and I was I was going to be uh, make sure she got to the airport and everything okay. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to be rushing for the stream. It actually, she actually has her trip cancelled now, so I um, I don't have anything planned, but I'm going to just enjoy the day. <laughs> oh, man, uh, you know, again, because everybody's asking for uh, another plus one, minus one matchmaking event, August 20th through 23rd. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Yeah, obviously, I was seeing that coming up. I know that we said that um, we can look forward to it being um, a more regular occurrence over the over the weekends. Um, so we've got a date now. Um, so you guys are going to see that not next week, but the weekend after uh, plus one minus one matchmaking. Oh, thank you, Lady Obscura, for an update on my cat. My cat, Erebus, my big man. <laughs> He's just a fool. He has just been basically eating the kitten's food, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with him. So he went and had a ultrasound. We thought that something was stuck in his stomach. He then had his belly shaved and got an X-ray, and absolutely nothing was wrong with him. So now he has a shaved belly, and he feels very embarrassed about that. But he's completely fine. So thank you, everyone, for all of you, um, your, your thoughts and uh, messages last week about Erebus. He's, he's actually completely fine. <laughs> oh, so you, you, you took him in because you thought he wasn't eating, but he was actually eating. Yeah. Yeah, he was eating the, like, kitten food, which is meant to, like... I guess like has lots of like nutrients in to boost their like growth and immunity and he's been eating that made himself sick silly boy okay. <laughs> poor guy poor wallet probably for what that cost too these days yes yes it was Great. it could have been worse though but it, it did suck <laughs> all right um uh, one, uh, one public PSA, uh, I, was, I was just informed, when the camel fix goes out on Tuesday, the ones that were incorrect in the garage will look blank. You just have to go to the appearance tab and select the camel you had again, and it will show up in the garage. But your camel okay. did not go away. I shall make sure to put that in the notes. Okay. Um, those of you who are asking and tagging me in questions, and um, please keep tagging me in them. Um, I've seen some really, really, really good questions um, and I'd like to ask them. Um, but um, we've still got a couple of things to cover first before we get into questions. Um, so 
Um, one of those other things we've got here is um, we've got Cold War maps in World War II on our list here. Yeah, the, you know, uh, reception on the maps was really, really good uh, in the beginning. And then it was asked on the stream one time, did we pull them out of World War II? And I'm like, really, that's if, the, if that's what the community wants, you know, uh, as you know, as a whole, that it's easy to turn, you know, to turn them off. Um, and then I haven't I haven't heard that asked again in, in, until today. So again, it's, yeah. it's I can't do it for a few people if everybody else is enjoying them. Um, I, I don't have any personal stake in whether they're there or not, but um, we've left them in because we I, I have not really been hearing anything about them at all. Yeah, um, and just as a bit of context, just to go back for uh, for you guys in the chat, and for those of you who are wondering about about the um, the Cold War maps in World War Two, remember back in like earlier in the year when map rotation was it was like the, it was for a long time the number one community feedback point that you guys were giving us, and um, you know while we're working on revamping these maps. Um, we've had these Cold War maps in World War II um, to help with that. I don't know if you guys really want to go back to that for now. I would, I would, I, I, I would think that um, I, I know a lot of the um, higher skill players that I see over on Discord and stuff really want to see Cold War maps come out of World War II, but I don't know if it's completely reflective of of everyone i think everyone really the most important thing is variety of maps so what i would recommend is uh, definitely keep sending in your feedback and stuff and I'd, I'd be happy to do a poll on it if you guys would like that um but, but yeah the it, thing to keep in mind it, it right now in order for the the, the match waker, maker to work properly and people like a back-to-back maps we added those at, at the higher tier and took out some of the smaller maps that weren't good at world war ii maps that weren't good at high tier so there was enough in the rotation list. So th there is the downside if we pull the Cold War out right now, we, you know, like Port and Mines, we'd have to put up in higher tiers. So there was enough of a map list to do prop proper rotation. So keep, yeah. keep in mind that another reason they're there is, is so that the map rotation code is all working well. I'd, I'd just recommend hang on for now. We've got more maps coming in the next major update, which I believe is our next point that we have here as well. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I I thought I said it, but I've got a couple of questions. Uh, that'll be right about the end of end of September. Um, and there's, I think, I already announced what the maps were that yeah. were being worked on. That I don't remember because I live in the future. I might be able to grab them for you real I, quickly. I can pull it up pretty quick. Yes. I've got it. I think I beat you. <laughs> It's because of West West Weezy, uh, one of our ambassadors, was just talking to me about it um, just before we we went on stream. Well, not talking to me. He answered a question and that's, asked the That's team. because my list of everything that come that's in the build for that date is super super long. <laughs> Lots to look forward to then. There we go. Duke Pass, Elebron, Redshire, and uh, Vanka. Bro Vanka is supposed to yeah. be the ones. Mervanka. <laughs> it sounds like um oh what's he called in um Inglorious, the Quentin Tarantino film. I won't say the second word of that. Um I can't remember what the what um what the main actor's name is, but he's got a very um thick American accent. I can't remember, help me out in the chat. I can't remember his name. Um Brad Pitt's character. Killing me. <laughs> Gurulami. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Oh well. All right. Do we got some time for some questions now? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so those of you who were asking all of those really good questions in the chat, definitely now is the time to ask them again. <clears throat> um Slapperfish Jr. asks, um, are we able to talk about um, why specifically um, RNG in um, was was adjusted in 6.0, and I think he means in particular uh, in in World War II mode. 
Yeah, so the 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 idea behind that was to um, not affect lifespan, um, but allow people to be less frustrated by the number of bounces, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we were. That, there's a ticket and an active conversation going on about this, you know, every day. Like I, I just asked another question uh, in the ticket if, if we could have the values by tier. Um, so kind of going through that and then, you know, going through the data and seeing, you know, what was the, the result of that change on all the different classes that the different tiers. Um, someone asked if we could have a low RNG event. Um, look, looking into that too, to make sure those values are still separated enough from Cold War so that we could do that for World War II. So a lot of very active discussions going on about our RNG and, and where to go from here. Um, so, so that you know, we, we've heard you. Um, yeah, definitely. The, the results are a positive. Um, uh, let me let's spend a few more days on that and next week I'll, I'll bring some charts to kind of show you in, in graphs. Um, what that change cool. did and why we did it, but it, it, we hear you. Yeah, we're act, I'm actively looking at what is the best next step forward with this. I can vouch for that as well. I've I've seen the discussions, um, teams working on it. Um, so looking forward to next week. Um, Captain Madness, I'm not sure I completely understand your question. If you want to try and rephrase that again. <clears throat> um seen a few questions in the chat about rank battles <laughs> roasted peanut he's back <laughs> he wants to know what's going on with ranked uh, rank battles or um if if this is maybe I, I know that we've not had an update on this in a while and um, to kind of like set player expectations is this maybe something that isn't on the horizon for the time being maybe something um further down the pipeline yeah, it, 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 yeah, uh, 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 yeah, I've said in the previous streams, it's it's nothing right around the corner. It's nothing that we turned off and we can just turn back, turn back on. Um, and we're we're, you know, discussing how best to move forward with them because even though roasted peanut seventy seven, <laughs> <very much much, laughs> right uh, he loves back, it. Whenever we ran rank battles, we would get complaints from another a number of players. Um, and if you were with us during the time, you would saw us change the formulas for rank battles <coughs> excuse me every time we did it to try to you know get the perfect formula um and so yeah th there's a lot of discussions on how to proceed with it um but it's not something that's right around the corner all right guys there's just have to be a little bit more, more patient with the rank battles uh, but i imagine it'll be It'll be good when it does come back. I do, I do, I do miss being able to do that. I remember when we did a tier 10 stream on that and uh, it was a lot of fun. So we'll just have to, we'll just have to be patient on that one. All right. Um, Boss Paul, we actually just uh, mentioned that, um, that the, the next big update where you'll see some of these um, uh, revamped maps um, around the end of September. So not too far now. Um, Death Slayer 777 asks, um, will we see optimization for the Xbox Series X S? Uh, we're all, we're always looking um looking to see where we can you know increase performance um, on on the different platforms. There's I think a, a graphic engineer that does nothing but that all day long. So <laughs> I, I don't have any like fancy ray tracing terms or anything you know to throw out throw out at, at the moment um but yeah, yeah we're always looking you know to continue to, to improve performance and graphics yeah it looked like rose and peanut also asked when the what, what are the next set of balance changes after the is4 i don't know yet because the the balance chain the balance change train has kind of gotten up to full speed and you know it's it kind of really like leaped ahead and we're talking about do we do more often more at a time a big drop at once so we're gonna we're continuing doing them there's just there's been so much analysis and so many changes proposed and so many changes like 
already in to be tested that we just haven't picked what's going to be the next one. But, you know, we're looking at Soviet, American, British nations. Um, yeah. like I said, the train the, the train is kind of a full steam now. So uh, maybe, maybe by next week I'll know what the ones after the IS-4 are. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I will be, we'll be seeing uh, what we decide to pick. Very cool. Um, Space Cowboy X asks, how far away is the beautiful Beast Challenger 2? We actually spoke last week about, um, about the um, UK tanks, um, and I believe we said December, so not too long, I don't think. I was going to say, it'll be a cold day in hell. <laughs> Somebody just sent a really funny message as well. Um, Modern Carl out me- messaged at me. I don't think I'm going to read that one out, but it did make me chuckle. So thank you for sending me that. <laughs> that was from, um, I don't know who said it, but it was about goats. It was hilarious. <laughs> All right. Lady J90 asked if the World War II T55A is going to be German. Yes, it's going to be a German tier nine medium. Oh, cool. Good question. And earnable, if I remember correctly. Yes. yes. Um, I, I announced that last week, right? Yeah, we put that in our notes last week, um, that it's it will be earnable, and that was how, however much we could say on that. Yeah, you guys have to wait and see. <laughs> um, all right. It's only because I've seen it, Shafi streams. Um, players keep asking for a Minto commander. Ran a poll. It was pretty pretty high in favor of it. I'm going to send you a ticket on it, Paying Good. Okay. It's only if the players want it. It's, do you, do you, wait, do they want you to be a pirate? <laughs> pirate they want, Mentos? To, they, only want, they want me to have a mustache. <laughs> I could be a pirate. I've, I've dressed up as a pirate before. <laughs> that, was, well, that was a little preview hint of something. To come. There we go. Oh, our <laughs> kill. Your yeah, pirate right. just says A instead of R. A O O R. There we go. I'll, I'll voice the pirates. I'll do it. Oh my God, Tesh! You don't want to see this stuff, man. <laughs> you guys, you don't want a shirtless Mento. That is not good. <laughs> oh God, no! I don't want a shirtless Mento. No. <laughs> Sorry, that request has been immediately denied. Denied, you ruined and, it. And, and set on fire out back. <laughs> oh dear. I would put a cat yeah. in the game before I would do that. There we go. So we can have a cat. I had that. No, you still can't have cats. <laughs> oh dear. Um, Dark Angel VB. Um, World War Two Old Hood. Um, I, I believe we spoke about this quite a few times. Um, that is on the quality of life uh, wish list, I believe. Um, right? Yeah, uh, absolutely. And it, it, it's it, it's been assigned to a, a concept artist to um, start thinking about that and coming up with coming up with designs. Um, so it's a, it's a little a little closer than wish list. But nothing I can hang a date on or, or say work it started on yet, other than um, it, it's in the pipeline for for uh, concept art and creative to look at. Thank you very much. All right, <laughs> you guys are killing me with these questions. You're hilarious. <laughs> um, Isa King Salami. Um, so myself and Pengo don't really have any insight on on and anything that would involve any like licensing so things like you know halo or whatever things like that um it's kind of like out of our realm um but is it the scorpion tank yeah that'd be cool it'd be huge though it 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 take up like four tugs things huge um got a question um from um Drushagan. Um do we know what um what era the armadillo will be in? We might have to wait until Monday for that one otherwise. Someone's gonna have to uh, I, 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 
it's these are escalation like the time uh we we jump around errors when we're doing play tests so i don't have that yeah i can't think of the top of my head as well oh well era two says marky thank you marky hope you're having a good night my friend slap a fish as well cheers thank you yeah my robot just says armadillo maybe maybe max chaos can check him for me really quick yeah all right um Isaac King Salami, with regards to what tanks will be in the trade-in, and um, we'll have to wait and see with that one. Sorry. Yeah, they'll publish yeah. the list. It's yeah, it's uh escalation. It's escalation, it's yeah. Too. Thank you. I think we need a new categorization of ultra light tank. Yeah, that is that is certainly a it's it's tiny. Uh it's gonna be well, like you said, it's like a cockroach. <laughs> is it? Do you know if it is is the fastest tank? What it was based on? Um, the 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 armadillo. Do you know if it is? It, it's certainly one of the faster tanks in the game right now. Do you oh, know is if it it's the fastest? Yeah. Festive. I'm like, isn't that festive weird? Tank. All day. <laughs> um, uh, it's it's up there. Uh, like yeah. we actually had to slow it down because once you did put all the uh, the uh, equipment and consumable and commander skills on it to get it to go as fast and, and nimble as possible, one it was almost undrivable. It was so freaking fast, and two nobody could ever hit it. Mm -hmm. So we had to pull back on the speed. But it might be the fastest in the game for now. We'll we'll have a look on Monday. <laughs> Cool. 80 kilo, uh, 80 kph. Marky J Meach says um, he's in the in the tests. Rapid then. <laughs> All right. Um, with regards to um, communication wheel, um, guys, I will um, I'll get together some feedback on that um, and see if I can send it on. And I do see that from time to time, um, some ad extra additions to to the communication wheel. Um, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys about that on Monday. All right. Do you have any extra extra questions you have there, Pain God? <clears throat> I had something else to say, but then getting stumped on the armadillo popped out of my brain. <laughs> I think it was something armadillo. that came up in, in the stream last week that I said I'd follow up on. I don't remember what it was. What was it? Let me see if I can look at the notes. We said so much last week. <clears throat> yeah. there, was, there was so much stuff. Let's see if I can help us. Recap. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not 100% sure it was from the stream. I know, I know it's something that Lady Obscura and I was discussing, and I went, yeah, sure, why don't we do that? And I just can't remember what it is. <sighs> she might not remember what it is either because we do this in tickets all day long. Yep. <laughs> well, if you guys in the chat remember before we finish, uh, you're more than uh, welcome to remind us. Um, Great Graham is asking, um, are we doing anything special for clans? I believe I, I saw some stuff today on clans. So I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it or not. <laughs> um, it, it, well, we, we're, we're, we are doing something. It's, it's a little bit too soon to talk about. I think the proposal for what it looks like and what information we display and all this and giving a special section on the portal um, that you can access from in game. I, I, we're really close that that just went out today, right? Mm -hmm. And and Mintos was like, looks great. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to read this all the way from the beginning to catch up because <laughs> I don't do this now. Um, yeah, so that was sitting uh, open as one of my Chrome tabs. I saw a lot of uh, Max Kess had done a lot of work on it. 
um, I came along to offer some feedback and I was like, damn, we got everything. That looks great. <laughs> Um, so yes, great Graham. There is there is stuff coming for clans. Um, Boss Paul, they do need some love, definitely. Um, right now, we don't have anything other than we're aware and looking into it. Sorry. <laughs> we need to buff the bots, says uh, Richie's. <laughs> All right. Um, running out of questions here, guys, um, and we're also running out of time as well. Um, so while you guys think up any final questions, I'm going to go ahead and draw the Armadillo giveaway winner. Um, so good luck. Oh, wow. It's someone who I know. Sprung Nickel. Congratulations. You say Spring Nickel? Sprung nickel. Oh, sprung nickel. Okay. <laughs> Congrats. Very well deserved. Great person. Um, great member of the community. Um, very well deserved. Um, as always, um, it's out on Tuesday. Um, so if you just um, give up to three days after its release date um, for it to be credited to your account, um, you've got the first armadillo. Congrats. Congratulations. All right. Um, and with that, um, I don't have any other other, other questions um, for today. Um, anything else that you guys would want to um, ask me about or talk about, feel free to hit me up on Discord or we can talk about it um, further on Monday. Um, do you have any final questions there, Pengar? No, I'm, I'm trying to rock my brain to think of what I was going to say, and it's just it's not coming back to me. So. You know, thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for playing as always. Have a great weekend. We're running out of summer fast. Enjoy it as much as you can. I see yeah. I've, I've leaves falling today. I'm like, no. I know. I know. I feel like I've been cheated out of summer this year because it's been raining a lot and thundering a lot. Maybe it'll be one of those years where um, where it's it's really hot all the way up until like the the end of September. That was something I always liked when I came and visited um, this country for so long. Was um, for some reason it was always really hot late in September. It's nice. Right. Um, we're going to go and head and thank you very much, Sinster. We're going to go and raid Chief Dre. Um, and tanks us. Hopefully, you can get that um, set up for us. Um, those of you who haven't watched Chief Dre before, uh, really very cool person, um, very good gameplay, really interesting occupation. Um, so go and get to, get to know Chief Dre, um, guys. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. Hope you all have a lovely weekend. Um, we will see you on Monday for a um, preview of the Armadillo, and we'll also preview what's going into the update on Tuesday. Uh, other than that, that's all for now, folks. <laughs> I feel like um, Bugs Bunny or something. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Hopefully, Tugsos is here. <laughs>